Why is it over so many countries around the world over the last 30 or 40 years, the share of the economic pie going to workers has shrunk so much? So in some recent work that I've been doing with colleagues from MIT and other uh, universities, we propose a, an explanation for this. And our explanation is what we call the rise of superstar firms. Superstar firms are all around us. Think about uh, Facebook, Apple, Netflix, Google. These are very large firms. And one of the characteristics of these large firms is that although they are big, they employ relatively few workers compared to the mega firms of the past. As these firms have got bigger, as concentration has increased in more and more markets, the weight of the economy has shifted into these firms. And because these firms have a low labor share, this has depressed the overall aggregate share of labor in the economy. The story that we give in this paper is that really what's happened is technology has changed. More and more of these markets are kind of winner-take-all markets. Think about Google. One of the reasons for Google's success is that uh, it produces a better search engine. More people use that search engine, so Google gets more and more data on them, so its search engine gets even better. So the hung market eventually, or a lot of the market, shifts towards Google. Another reason outside the digital markets is that many companies to be successful have to make enormous investments in software. Those technological changes have also led to increased competition. And what competition does is it makes it harder for the smaller firms to survive, the less productive firms to survive, and this also creates as a winner-take-all type of effect. Although I don't think the rise of superstar firms is due to weak competition policy, I do think it poses a policy challenge. Because even if these firms have managed to get to superstardom through the merits, through competing on efficiency and innovation, now they are so powerful, there is a risk that they may start abusing their market dominance. We have to focus on what uh, future competition is like rather than just current competition. So that does mean a change in the way that antitrust and competition policy takes place. <laughs>